Okay, this video is going to show you how you can use the freely available and free of cost Yahoo audio media player to play your audio clips on your web page. And like I said in the previous video, this way is a bit more elegant because it just plays right on the page. The video pops up without going to a new page or without having to open up any kind of new program on your computer. So it's just like a little bit more elegant looking solution to putting an audio clip on your page. Uh, it's a little bit more work, but it's worth it. So once again, before any of this will work, you must already have your site set up in Dreamweaver, and you also have to have the Classwork server set up before any of this will work, so make sure you do that. I have already done that, and I have my site up here, and you can see that I've got my Rabbit Girl file right here. This is my MP3 file that I am going to embed. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up our handout. And in the handout, under the section about embedding your clips on your HTML page, under Yahoo Media Player here, you'll see we have these two lines of code. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to highlight these two lines. And I'm going to do Control-C to copy. And then we're going to come back into Dreamweaver. And this is my page that I want to put the link on and I'm just going to put the link at the bottom of the page here. Now this is very important. You need to, before you paste what you just copied, you need to actually be in code view. You don't want to paste it in design view or else bad things are going to happen. So we need to go into code view and there's our cursor blinking right where we had it blinking and I am then going to do control V to paste. Then we just need to make a couple of little revisions here. The first revision is we need to change this horse mp3 to the name of our file. And in my particular case, it is rabbitgirl.mp3. And then the other thing we need to do is, because this is a link, and you'll see that the link begins right here with the A, and it ends here with the slash A. So essentially, this text between those two tags is what the actual link text is going to be. So I need to change that text because this is not sound of a horse. This is my interview with a rabbit girl. So I am just going to say, listen to my rabbit girl interview. Okay, And then this script will just stay the same. And we can just come back into design view now and you'll see that we have our link there. It doesn't look much different than the other link, but it's going to function differently as we're about to see. So what we would normally do in this situation is save our document and then we would hit F12 to preview in browser. However, what I'm finding is that on most computers on BGSU's campus, you can't preview this. It gives you an error message about Flash. And so what we do is we're basically just going to go ahead and upload this to Classwork. Okay, and, it, and it should work on classwork. However, if you try to do F12, you're going to get errors and you're going to get all frustrated and you're going to think it's not working, where in reality, it probably is working. Okay, so in order to upload this, we're going to upload our JFK layout 2013 file. So we come up here and make sure that we have the right one here. So JFK layout 2013, we're going to click the up arrow we are going to include dependent files. We're just going to say yes to this. And then we also need to separately upload our Rabbit Girl file. So we come here to Rabbit Girl, we click it, and then click Upload. And now if we go into our browser here, and if I go to classwork.bgsu.edu, and then we go under our site and then my folder happens to be folder 21 right here and then there's my JFK layout and if I click on that and then scroll down you can see that I now have my link and it's got this little icon in front of it and I can actually either click the icon or the link but watch what happens when I click this You can see that it's just like a better looking solution where rather than it coming up with a big blank screen or opening up a new, you know, Windows Media Player program, it just kind of like opens up. Exciting to see the 
just like that on the page and, and we can play it. It also gives us a little bit nicer control where I can pause it if I want to, I can go fast forward, I can go backwards. And so uh, the, the Yahoo Media Player is actually like a pretty nice little solution to making that work.